Hello everybody, it's Sandra. Today I'm going to be doing some testing on some of the items in this bag. I don't think we're probably going to get to all of them. Now, when I get jewelry that I think might be gold or I think might be silver, I put it in this little red baggie and then from time to time I take everything out and I test it. I don't think I have any gold that I was questioning, but I have silver. So that's what we're going to do today. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's see what's what. Let me know what you think below and subscribe to the channel if you want to. Okay, let's get started. Let's begin today by A being sterling silver acid testing methods. This is sterling. Um, yeah, there it is, sterling. Okay, so let's get a good scratch. We're going to make two good scratches with this. So we're going to put our 18 on and watch that turn blue. And then we'll take our silver solution and we'll see about that. I also want to just put some of this on the stone with nothing because I know this does look already like it's, it's a red color, but it isn't. All right. So you can see that's blue. Totally proving that is sterling exactly as it's marked. And now we have this blob with nothing. And then we have that on the, on the silver. So here's a cotton swab. We're going to have a look at what the cotton swab will show just the solution alone. It's like that golden yellow. Now what silver will show is like a blood red. I didn't really put too much uh, silver on here, but there is a lot of solution. So I don't know how red it's going to be, but see, so that's, the difference, um, you know, both methods work well. Uh, I kind of just prefer this because I don't, you know, I don't know. These are messy or whatever. Um, but I, I, I definitely use both methods. Just an FYI. Today I'm going to be using the 18 karat testing solution. And if anything in here is silver, it should turn blue on this stone. So I buy these like sets of the testing solutions on Amazon, JSP. I like this name brand a lot and it does come with this stone. So let's see what we have. Maybe we, since we're not going to have time to do them all, maybe we'll try to um, uh, prioritize and see which ones we really want to know about. Um, these I'm very curious about. These are Mark 925. My mother actually bought these, but I am unclear. Uh, let's test this one. And, oh, this ring. Look at this. Whew, that's a good ring. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. And this one looks silver. I don't know what that star is. That might tell us something. I have this ring. Uh, yeah, this little thing, let's see, these earrings I'm thinking are, so sometimes things are not marked but for different reasons. Um, in certain areas of the, of the world, they're a little bit loosey goosey with their, uh, stamping of what the purity is. Sometimes they wear away over time. Some of these things are likely hand done too. Um, I think we tested this one before. I think that one was a negative. All right. So that's pretty good for a start. Um, oh, this one I was dying to know too. You know what? I actually paid, paid a bunch of money for this one. This butterfly, this, this better be silver. That's all I'm going to say. We'll start with these five pieces. This seems old, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't know. Well, well, let's find out. 
Be sure to get a, a bunch off here. And of course, after I scratch, I always check to see if it's a different color underneath because some of these things may just be plated. So that's important. Do this little ring. That seems like it might be real, right? And of course I keep them in the order so that I can remember what is what. So we look like this is, is a NG right here. That is so intriguing. I love this. Maybe I should check this one or, or maybe I will check this one with my gem tester. So these first two are not silver and uh, I, so I don't need to check underneath, you know, where I scratch. Now this one actually says it is. I think that's marked. Hmm. Um, okay, I'm just going to double check that mark. Maybe I can get a better scratch on that. But we're looking like this, this, and this are silver. Now I'm going to take a look at where I scratch just to make sure there's not a different color underneath. These all look good. This is very heavy. I love this. That's a cute little ring too. So three pieces of reel right here. I'm just going to do a quick do over on this. Maybe I didn't get a, a good enough scratch. Let me just make sure I have enough there. That's a little better scratch. Let's see. Yeah, there it goes. So here, I mean, it is blue there too. Um, this one isn't at all. So that was that other ring, but okay. I really did think this one is real and it does say 9, 925. So, all right. Awesome. Good, good, good. Four pieces of real and one not real. I usually wear gloves when I do this. Um, I can't stand it. If I get acid on my hands, it, it turns your skin yellow and it, it stays yellow for a while, but I'll just be extra, extra careful. So we're gonna check this one. I love this one. It looks silver to me. And these have got to be silver. How are these not silver? Well, let's find out. I think I have the mat the matching uh, bracelet maybe to this. Let's see, Ooh, this one's thin. Okay. This one I think I already did, so that's really sloppy if I didn't, um, you know, put it in a put it in a place where I I know that it isn't real. What I will do with the pieces that aren't real is uh, put them in a bag that says uh, not real, <laughs> so I won't forget. This one is marked. I actually love this bracelet, but I just wanted to check it. I don't know. It seems like maybe maybe it isn't. So I just wanted to verify. This is like one of the best uh, pendants in life. So let's check this. Maybe not. And let's do this one too. This is the one I told you I paid up for at an auction. They said it was silver, but then it, it's not marked or anything. So I started to get suspicious. All right. So there's all of our things in a line so we can remember. Let's see what's going to turn blue. So this is a no. Interesting. This is a no? Really? And this one is a no. I seem to remember that was a no. So let me make sure I don't get these mixed up. I'll put these in the no pile. This is a yes. 
this is a yes. And this is a yes, which is fantastic. Now I'm going to check with my um, loop just to make sure there's not a different color underneath. So we are just sure that it's not silver plated and it is actually silver all the way through. In fact, when I turn the camera off, I may scratch a little bit harder on these just to absolutely, you know, rule out the fact that they, they could be silver plated. Most of these items, if not all, were thrift store finds or yard sale other than that butterfly thing that I told you I paid up for. I don't think I paid up for anything, but my mother did on these bracelets that I'm very suspicious about. So let's uh, check these next. I was afraid of that. And the middle one I did think was real. Um, it looks more real or something, but yeah. Okay. Well, it happens. Let's hope at this yard sale, you know, the person didn't do it on purpose and they actually thought they were silver. They are marked 925, all three of them. Yeah. Bummer. Here's the result. No, 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 yes, yes. This looks like it's a no. I'm going to do a do-over on that. I don't, I, I don't believe it, but it's, it's possible. But these are all yeses. Fantastic. Let me know below if you also sometimes have to do a do-over when you're testing stuff. Let me see if I can get this on a little bit thicker. It sure looks like, well, let me just look with my loop. It sure looks like silver though. It looks good underneath. Okay. Much better result. I just scratched it much, much harder. Okay. Good. I've been meaning to check this ring. That says 14K. Hopefully you can see that. Um... I don't know. It, I, I'm really not sure about this one. Let's find out. I'm going to rub it nice and hard, make sure it's not just plated. Let's see. It looks good underneath. So when we test for gold, uh, it's not going to turn blue. It's not going to turn blood red or anything else. What's going to happen is the acid's either going to eat that or it isn't. And if it withstands the acid, then it is 14 karat gold. So we will. Let this uh, sit here for a few 
and see if it disappears or it doesn't. It is holding up. As I recall, I got this ring as part of that jewelry store haul. It's a very unusual ring. And uh, yeah, great. It is 14 karat gold. Terrific. These are all no's. Sometimes with these, you know, the, maybe just the top part is real, like that inlaid part. It's possible. It's kind of a cool money clip, though. And that one is a no. I'm going to clean this with a 22 real fast. I think this one is marked, but it doesn't seem real to me. And this one probably is. Oops. Freak out of the focus. And I guess we'll check this one. Let's see. I'm running out of things to check. This one is so not real. I don't even know why I'm doing this one. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to check that one. I can just tell. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I thought this one probably wasn't real. These two are, though. The last thing I want to do is just check these stones. I can't remember if I did this before. I do love this ring. Wow. Let's see. Try this red one. Hmm, maybe a garnet, I guess, huh? We'll try the... Sorry if you can't see it. We'll try this blue one. Oh, I don't want to scratch this. I gotta be careful. Huh. That's going into sapphire. Um it, huh. And that's going into that also. What about this red one? It's sort of slippery. Um Let's try the purple one. I don't know. What? What is this? Okay. Who knows? Is this like Georgian or something? What do you think? It is strange, though, that it's not on real, real um, silver. It, it's not gold, right? Well, uh, uh, let's, it doesn't look like gold, but let's, uh, let's just check it for fun. It's not 14, that's for sure. I guess we can check to see if it's 10. I don't, I don't think so. That is interesting. I'm going to let a, a little more time pass. It's fading away. Okay. So, um, I think if it's nine carat, it would have stayed a little bit longer. Uh, it, it certainly doesn't look like gold though, right? It looks like, I don't know, steel or something. Well, this is very, very cool. Um, I'm surprised those stones are... Re Did I know that? I can't remember if I knew that or not. Um, I know it now, and I do love this ring. I love it even more now, and it fits me too. Way cool. Way cool. That's it for this time. Wow, we got... 
through a lot of stuff today. I'd like to thank you so much, as always, for coming to my channel today. Let me know what you think below. Happy hunting, everybody. I hope this video is helpful to you. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.